In this video, we are going to discussing about inventory valuation in auto trading. So let's start inside of our inventory module. Here we have all now the inventory valuation is inside the product category. Here we can list all our product categories here and here we can create a new one by clicking the create button and from the existing here we can see the inventory valuation methods here we can see two options that are costing method and inventory valuation here we can see inside the costing method there are three type that uh, that is standard price first in first out and average cost and when we selected the standard price the product are valued at their standard cost defined on the product and if we selected the FIFO the first in first first out here by we can the products are valued by those that enter the company first and will also leave first and if we selected uh, the average cost then the products are valued at the weighted average cost and here we can see that the inventory valuation types that is in two type that are manual and automated if we selected the manual and the accounting entries to value the inventory are not posted automatically when a product enters or leaves the company and if we selected automatic automated and accounting entry is automatically created to value the inventory when a product enters or leave the company and we can go for example for this so that we are creating two products set master data okay create a new product that is one for automated so the more Price is in standard and manual. By this, we can manually change the cost of the product here. Uh, the product cost is under and play. We can change here, and if its costing method is in FIFO and save this after that we can see the menu for update the cost is disappeared that means we can't update the cost man manually here it's update when we purchasing the product and the cost is depending in the entry of the product and if we selected the average cost and save 
then here we can see we can edit or we can update the cost and it's automate average and automated then also we can see we can update the cost and while we purchasing the cost is changed by the purchase if we purchasing the product in different price then the price is changed to the average of that those product those product price and we can set it to standard price and automated and save the product and save and we can create the next product uh, as demo manual and inside the product category we selected standard and manual and save this and update the cost of the product as magnifier and save and after making a sale order for this product by specifying a customer and our product and we confirm this when we process the delivery the account entries to the the account entries to value the inventory for the automated product are automatically generated but for the manual product accounting entries to value the inventory are not posted you can see that by clicking the delivery tab we can see order and we can validate this too and by giving a play we have validated the delivery and while checking the accounting journal entry for this product here we can see the auto is only generated manual is not generated here the inventory Valuation helps in the land cost. Uh, there is a main condition that the inventory valuation is in automated and uh, the costing method is in FIFO. And this is all for inventory valuation in Auto 30. And thanks for watching this video. If you are interested in knowing more about this, or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.